know, Muriel. Would you listen to reason? I have listened. I don't want to talk about it. But Hicks and Travel Man are even now, so you should call it quits. I have a funny feeling that Mr. Hicks is not quite over his histrionical behavior. But if he is, you lose all that money. Ah, uh, but if he isn't, I acquire an antique shop. Oh, it's so unfair. You know what that shop means to me. I, I, I built it from nothing to, to fill an emptiness inside me. No, I'm sorry, but a, a wager is a wager. We once meant something to each other, Dickie. When we were youngsters in this very club, we met at that dinner dance. You were a boutonniere. You wore a tuxedo. You had a mustache. You had sideburns. Do you remember our first date? Well, of course I remember. We saw that documentary about the Luftwaffe. Mm, I loved that film. You said you found that efficiency so inspiring. I did, I did. Some of those babies could drop 20 tons in a single night. Boom. Right down the middle. Boom. God, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, stop. <laughs> you may have put on a bit of poundage, but it's in all the right places. Oh, you devil. You did have a way of breaking up my feminine side. Did I, Miriam? Something that my husband has completely lost sight of. He married me for my warmth, but he doesn't see it anymore. Oh, the brute. Oh, don't call him that. It's not his fault. Oh, no! He is a brute! If he can't see how warm and tender you can oh, be... Put a sock in it! Are you gonna call the better not? No! No, 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 no,